Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to Vintage Story. Hope you guys are doing good today. I am doing awesome. So I finally got down into the original poor iron mine and got back all of my lanterns. And that's a good thing, because we desperately need a bunch of lanterns over here. And now I am starving. Wonderful. That is great. But you can see as we approach the village here at night, it looks very nice and bright and inviting, not like the surrounding area. Now, I have done a little bit of work on the stonemason's hut, but we'll have to discuss that after I get something to eat, because this is, yeah, food. Very important food. Come on, let's go. Faster, faster, faster! Yes, run, 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 run! So, thankfully, I do have some food made up. But we can kind of see some of the stuff that's going on with that here as we go by. But uh, we'll, like I said, we'll discuss that here in just a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, shut the door. Shut the door. There we go. And a little bit of that red meat and cabbage stew. Oh my god. Did that just literally fill us up all the way? That filled us up all the way from starving with 0.9 servings of that red meat and cabbage. Wow, that is some good food. But so we can see I now have the roof on the second floor of this. And I've also put in the second floor basically so let's go ahead and grab that because we are not going to be using the molybdichacos inside of here of course we are going to be using copper lanterns now one thing that i decided here was it it wouldn't well and this might not that won't help but it would not make sense for a stonemason to not have an all stone building but an all stone building needs a lot of reinforcements and arches and things like that and so yes there's a lot of heavy stone arches and things like that in here now uh, I have this doorway right here now this is not going to actually get a door in it because obviously we have half slabs on each side but what this is going to be is a little elevated bridge walk to the second floor of this building over here. So there is a ladder here to get up to the second floor here, but there will not be a ladder in that building. So this building here, I think we are going to have it be like where the, the mortar and things like that is made. And this one over here is going to be more like the, the place where the actual stone chipping is done. And then this will be the, the living quarters in the upper floors of these two buildings. So I did put a window here originally, but it did not look right. So I went ahead and took it out, and I think we've got plenty of roof here. But I do need to get some daylight here so that we can chase away these stinking drifters because, uh, yeah, they, they are just annoying the snot out of me. And also, I need to get some doors over here. So, yeah, I will be right back. So I just noticed on the map, that actually looks kind of cool. The unfinished building there. But you can see, we are getting quite a few buildings here. And we still have some glitches in roofs. So, yeah, that kind of makes me sad, but uh, we are getting there. So let's go ahead and hit back out here and take a look at this building now. So we have the second floor. It's not near as... Really? You guys, just go die. Die in a hole. I, I, I don't care what you do. Just go away. Leave me alone. But so the second floor here, we can see there is quite a bit of sandstone in that, but we also have some polished uh, granite. And then, of course, the uh, blue tile shingles. And I love those blue tile shingles. They, they look so nice. You know, I don't know if I really care for the wood on the roof of the warehouse. And... 
I, I'd like to know what you guys think of that. But if it gets to it, we will replace that with fire bricks because that does every other building in the village has shingle roofs. I don't know. The color is similar, so we could probably change that to fire bricks and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. So, yeah, that one over there, we have the gray border on the roof and the yellow roof. This one we have a gray roof and a yellow border. And I think that's a, a nice little contrast between the two, you know, but that's kind of neat. So then the next thing is this portion here is not going to be right. We need to connect these two up. And I think in my creative world, I'd actually use some uh, granite bricks, but I kind of changed the shape of these a little bit as I was building them. This one wasn't quite like that, and this one wasn't quite like this either. So I think actually we are just going to change this to be uh, just a, a three block wide thing here. Oh, no, don't want to drop that. Now one thing that I have noticed is it doesn't matter what you do here, you can't break the shingles fast. They are a brick that can be punched. And so any tool that you use is just insanely slow at breaking those. So, yeah. But so we have the half slabs underneath there. So I think what we're going to do is just continue this across like that. And that will allow us then to get onto the second floor over here. Now this building, I don't think that we are going to be putting the little secondary roof down below. So, yeah, Th this just, something about this doesn't feel right. I, mm, it, it's kind of bugging me, but I forgot that we need some oak fences. So, eh, let, let's take another half a stack. It's not going to hurt anything to have some more. And did we have any doors in there? No, we don't. Darn it. But we'll go ahead and pop back up here. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and do... Really? Let's go ahead and put these up here first. So that'll kind of make that feel like it's a supported walkway. I would really like to see stone walls. You know, the... You know, like the... Minecraft uh, bricks. Oh! So yeah, I was trying to save as much of this polished granite as I could because it's a little bit expensive in comparison to the cobblestone. But since this one is not going to have a secondary roof, we will just be building this up. And then actually here, I think we want to put a ring of the polished granite all the way around this roof. Or roof? second floor that'll kind of section it apart and then this one here is actually going to have a door so we'll do that and st mm, two stairs really okay well I need to get some supplies I am up a little bit short on supplies here so yeah I better go grab that I'll be right back so, much the same as we did in the other building, we are going to try to give this a bit more of a reinforced stone look. So we're going to start out by making a main pillar across the center of the room and bringing the edges down just a little. It'd be nice if we had an eighth or a quarter block instead of a half block, but that works. Then we are going to go ahead and put this here, and this one has to be full stone blocks to hide there. That, that, and that. So that will kind of close all of that up. We're going to go ahead and put half slabs there, and then once again bring these down by just a little bit. Now the nice part about this is we have a spot that we can put a lantern in the center. Now it is kind of low, smack your head, but yeah, I mean, that's the way that it is. Maybe we could put some torch holders in here later because since we found that zinc, we can make brass and we can actually make brass torch holders. 
And that might be the thing for such small rooms as these because a torch holder should be enough. But now what we're going to do is bring this up a couple more blocks and we are going to take some cobblestone across these and now we'll go ahead and make this with some windows and I think what we're going to do is we are going to put windows on let's see that's five blocks we're going to put windows on the long sides of the room only and this one over here is not going to get one so I think that'll give a little bit more interest to the build and once again I am running out of cobblestone why I mean this is ridiculous I did not anticipate using that much cobblestone thankfully we do have tons and tons of sandstone rocks so you know what we're going to go ahead I've got 40 uh, 40 clay in my inventory from making the stairs here a little bit ago and let's go ahead and just make a bunch of these into the cobblestone again because obviously we are using the cobblestone pretty fast so I'm kind of liking the look of this building it's a little different and uh, I've got a few ideas on decorating in this because this one we're actually going to do a little bit of decoration in so just like we do normally then we will go ahead and put the half slab above that and then some trap doors coming down to uh, act as shutters so yeah I'll go ahead and get this portion finished up now it's gonna get the same type of roof as that and so not really much to see there and I'll see you guys in a little bit so I now have the roof on this but it's kind of looking a little boring so I think one thing that I am gonna do here and this isn't quite going to work as nicely as I thought. We're going to have to go across there like that. And then we're going to put this on here. Now, how did I do that on these? I went sideways. Yes, that makes a bit more sense, actually. And you know what? Let's go grab the axe. So I do have this chest here just somewhere to dump my stuff. And we're going to need a couple more pieces of dirt for the backside. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this here. So I put that on the side and that didn't look right. So let's go ahead and put it on the bottom and close it up. And then that will give us a nice little planter box here and that should make this look a lot better. Then we'll go ahead and color up here and throw some flowers up here. So we got a purple lupin and some heather. And then on the back side, we're gonna put a bit of the dwarf furs and uh, another piece of heather. So yeah, I think that will help this out a lot because right now, I mean, this just, it was too, too bland, far too bland for me. So let's see how this looks now. Get this up here. Go ahead and drop these up there. So hopefully that'll help it a little. Get a little distance away from here. Oh yeah, that helps a lot. More than a little, that helps a lot. But looking here, I don't think that's right. So let's try this. Let's remove these pieces of stone here and instead replace them with a bit of sandstone bricks because otherwise I think we're getting a little too much gray there yes yes absolutely so hmm, I don't have enough bricks and I have to make some more hmm. well of all things all right well let's go ahead and make a bit more bricks here then 
And in all actuality, I think that should be plenty. So let's go ahead and get that. And so, yeah, that's gonna add a lot of stuff to this. So the other thing is you can see here on the second floor, I made a little bit of indentations here and I think that helps out a lot on the appearance here. So this side still might be a little bit bland, but uh, for now, I think I'm gonna leave that alone. And I need to get a few things together now for the actual decorations around here. So, yes, that, mm, yes, very much so. That is much, much better. Now, the other thing is, is I am cutting some, whoops, cutting some pine trees here to get additional char or, uh, firewood down in our charcoal pit because I am figuring on running that guy again here pretty soon. So, yep, lots and lots of logs falling there. That is perfect. So, yeah, I gotta cut this stuff up into firewood and then I'll be back. Am I getting sticks? Oh, there's a log that I missed. So, of all the things to be missing to make this look good, I am missing granite gravel. Now, thankfully, we have a huge area of granite gravel right over here. But, uh, yeah, I would have never guessed that was something that I was going to be chasing after. But I suppose I'm going to grab a bunch of this. And uh, also, you may notice uh, I have pickled onions and cured red meat here in my inventory. So, yeah, I am definitely going to be taking these with me when I do my treks to go and get things. Now, one thing that I would have really liked to have had for this would have been some chart gravel. But unfortunately, I don't think we've come across an area where chert gravel has been a thing. Now we have layers of chert underneath this, but we don't have any chert gravel anywhere. But I do want to check in here and see what our trader has got and what he wants. So he's got plaster, nice. Really nothing that I want to buy. I don't want to sell those chests. I need these closed crates. So, yeah, ladders, it, I could bring him some ladders, but yes, I need to collect up as much of this gravel as I can get here. I brought an extra shovel, but I don't need a huge amount of it right now. I only need maybe about, oh, 10 or 15 blocks at most, but I definitely want some for later because I think we might be using some of this in some future builds. Stuck down in a hole. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been in this cave. Can I hit him? Here, let's do this. Get me down another block. And then I can. Boy, those guys are loud. go. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been in this. No, nope, I have been in this cave before, obviously. <laughs> That's a pretty obvious mark of me having been there. But I think I've got enough gravel now. Now I just need to butcher these guys and get back to the base. You fat. So one thing that I had to do here was move the path back away from the building because we need a little bit more room up here. And then also I have now added a path running into the doors. Now this is, uh, well, I think my house has a regular stone path running up to the doors, but all of the other buildings around here have had cobblestone, gravel, smooth stone mix on the entrance to the buildings. So this is uh, a little bit different, but uh, 
Oh, that was a flower. But what I want to do here, right after I remove these pieces of grass, is I'm going to start kind of plastering the ground here with some differing blocks to give a little bit of texture to the ground. Now, I have several here, and I'm not sure how they're all going to work, but I have granite cobblestone, I have granite gravel, I have muddy gravel, and bony soil. So I've been wondering for a long time what I could do with this bony soil, and I actually saw this and thought that it looked great. So what we do is we take a bit of bony soil, and then we place a rock on top of it. And now that looks like little bits of chipped rock. So the next thing that I'm going to do here to save a, well, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this. So the great majority of this is going to get changed and I'm just going to randomly do some digging here. Leave a little bit of grass, but not too much. And this is basically going to run right out to the path. And then we'll go ahead and throw in a bit of cobblestone. I do not want too much cobblestone. I actually want more gravel here than anything. So I think, whoops, that is not cobblestone. So I think that should be enough of the cobblestone. So now we're gonna come in here and put a whole bunch of gravel in. And this is gonna make this look pretty nice. I think we need to remove more grass still. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and pull up a bit more of the grass. I just kind of get the feeling that, yeah, we're going to have to remove a lot of that. So we'll go ahead and put a little bit more here. And now we're going to put a bit more of this bony soil around here. And like I said, this is going to kind of look like little chips of stone laying on the ground. That's what I'm going for. Now, I wasn't sure about the muddy gravel. I hadn't checked it, but you know what? That looks really good, actually. So let's go ahead and put a muddy gravel right there. And yeah, that kind of looks like a roughed in working area. We need a little bit more over here. So here, let's go ahead and pull up some of this stuff. And I think we'll put a muddy gravel there and one there right next to the path some regular granite gravel and then one more piece of bony soil so yeah that kind of gives us the the working area for the stonemasons so now we're gonna get this stuff out of our inventory and we're gonna switch over to granite rock polished granite rock and granite rock slabs so I'm going to take this granite rock and this I think I'm gonna place it right here and I'm going to put seven of them like that. So then I'm going to go ahead and put some rocks laying around here, you know, like these are pieces that have been chipped off to get it to that point. And then I'm going to put another granite rock there. So there's the one that they removed from that larger block that was brought up here. And uh, that actually puts us too close to the edge here. So we are going to want to put a little bit more bony soil and some more gravel. So yeah, that, that works. And you know what, I'm kind of thinking, I think I'm going to remove all of, the, all of the grass and replace it with muddy gravel. I think that is going to make this look a little bit better. So that will kind of make it feel more like, you know, there's, there's a lot of rock has been chipped off here and this just be a different color. So then we're going to come over here and we're going to place a polished granite rock here. Throw down some more uh, of our rocks laying around here. And I thought I grabbed two slabs, but I guess not. So let's go ahead and grab another slab. Now I would have kind of liked to have had some stairs, but unfortunately you cannot make a stair out of these polished rocks. So, yeah, that kind of makes me sad. But so now, if we come back away from this, that definitely has the feel like uh, this is an area that rock working has been done. And that's what we're really looking for, 
you know it looks like they come out here and they chip away at this now i suppose we should also put a little bit of a fence around this so let's go ahead and grab nope wrong chest this one here let's grab a little bit of fences maybe a fence gate or two and eh, the fence gates i don't think we need those and then we have some granite cobble but we don't have any granite cobble slabs on us so and actually we don't want the slabs or the granite cobble slabs we want the polished granite slabs so i suppose right here we can bring this well here we'll bring it out one block where's my axe and then grab our granite cobble yeah mm, that's not right and then we'll put this on why why you do this flat thank you so then these here i think we're gonna go three blocks out yeah i think three blocks out will be that is not the right block so then we'll go like this and this will put that right near the path now i can see the dirt underneath it so let's go ahead and punch out the dirt put this in there so this is already correct but we need to change the color because that is spruce okay so let's go ahead and grab our lantern back we'll put this now that's not a lantern there we go so then again here it's got the gravel underneath it so that looks fine and so hmm actually i think that looks just fine right like that yes that definitely looks like guys are out here working on that so the only other thing that i can think is we need to get some tools out here so i'm not sure how we're going to go about doing that i mean obviously we can put a tool rack here but i don't know what we would put a tool rack on we would need to figure out some way to make like a bench well there's a question let's try this real quick so if i grab seven planks whoops we'll make a table and i don't know if we can actually put a tool rack on a table that would be pretty cool if we could so let's try this real quick mm, nope it requires a solid side to be attached to so that's unfortunate but we can keep this for something else like maybe an interior for now i think we're just going to place it right there and call it good um so what could we use i, I know i know um upstairs upstairs yes um over here no right here where 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 oh where is my hairbrush um where did i put those aha there we go we'll grab a couple of aged wooden planks Oh, I think that will be great because that'll give it a very nice look. We also have some of these brown clay bricks that we got from one of the ruins. So if we bring this over here, we'll go ahead and place this here. Put the tool rack on the front that destroyed my rock. So let's go ahead and put a couple more rocks down here. And actually, we haven't put any on those. So I wish this wasn't so bright that you could make like differing colors of tool racks that would be nice but so now we need to get some hammers and chisels over here for the tools now is there anything that we could put on top of this little workbench that would kind of make that feel a little bit more maybe a lantern yes Let's go ahead and put a lantern on there. Hey, how are you doing? I think you're dead. 
I think you're doing dead. That's what you're doing. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and put a lantern there. That looks really good right there. That looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab the tools and see how this looks. So we're gonna grab one of our spare hammers and this iron chisel, and we'll probably grab a couple more later, but uh, for now we'll just go like that. And yeah, that is nice. I like it a lot. I would kind of like to get some other colors of gravel to mix in here. Maybe a bit of chert, or I don't think the basalt would look good, but maybe andesite. Andesite's a nice dark gray, but I mean, the muddy gravel actually looks pretty good there. But yes, we have an exterior here. It looks like people have been out chiseling stone. I like it a lot. So we still could do something here, but I don't know for sure what we would do. So one thing that I am going to do here real quick, because I think we're getting close to time on the episode. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and make three barrels. At least I think this was the recipe for a barrel. We put a stick in each corner and then planks down the middle. I think that was a barrel. Yes, that is a barrel. Okay. So... Then we'll go ahead and go grab a bit of this mortar. We'll, we'll grab one whole stack of mortar. And we're going to go ahead and put this in this building here. Now, we're definitely going to want to get some floors and interiors in here as well. But so this building here, I think this is going to be where we're going to have like, we'll put like some... Uh, bricks and things like that over here but if we go here we can place that mortar back in there and you know what we're going to uh, take that what no okay so you can't what what why will these not stack now oh they only stack to 160s when you stack them Ooh, so the 320 stack is as large as you're going to get? No, then they stack to ones to 64s. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. So, yeah, don't, uh, don't mess with your mortar, apparently. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and put an 80 in that one. And a 33 over here. Whoops, that's not right. So there, now it looks like we've got varying amounts of mortar in the barrels. And then we can put stone bricks along here that are being put together. And yeah, I think that's going to be great. i got to figure out what we're going to do for a floor in here. It'll probably be like granite cobble or something like that. Because I think it'll look good. But yeah, I think that is going to be it for this episode so I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on or anything that you would like to see, be sure to leave that down in the comments, and I will see you next time. Bye!